Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Distinguished guests, dignitaries, our overseas Pakistanis, members of the National Idea Bank, our students, ab sabko assalam alaikum. I just need to know who my audience is. So, sabse pehle, I'd like to raise a raise of hands for people that are students here. Kitne students yahan maujood hain? Right. What about the overseas Pakistanis? Kitne overseas Pakistanis hain? So, we have quite a few. And what about the business community? How many from the business community? Anyone? Okay, this amount. So, ladies and gentlemen, firstly, it's an honor being here amongst you all. And I want to say thank you very much for the National Idea Bank. It's an excellent initiative. And uh, surprisingly, something I'm not aware of. I was not aware because we have been pursuing this for a very long time with regards to academia and industry linkage. Last year, we did this work. We committed to this program with the Islamabad program that in Islamabad, at the minimum, we'll be able to provide you 3,000 jobs. And this is not difficult. We have at least 5,000 members. If you give one student to each organization, that's a bare minimum. We can do. start with the internships. You can easily easily end up with a long-term uh, job. With regards to today's agenda, I was given a number of different um, themes to work around, you know, with regards to innovation, uh, with regards to the ecosystem, the, the business-friendly environment. There's a lot of things, and they overlap. But in Pakistan, the dynamics are a little different. We really have to think out of the box when we talk about global concepts. This is business ecosystem. Ki baat so there's fundamentals in which you look at the initial thing, sustainability, you look at self-governance, and you look at innovation. Like in Pakistan, we have approach to with all the students that are here that are getting jobs and all the businessmen that are here. You know, we have a concept that the boss is always right. So how many of you here have that self-governance aspect which Google mein, ya Apple mein dekhte hai, ki it's an open platform, Silicon Valley, mein, where you can sit and come up with all these innovative ideas. And you say, boss, this is the way forward. And the boss is absolutely right. Here we have this, a different sort of a norm. We say, no, the boss knows better. So we have to change our approach. And again, when we talk innovation, ki baat karte hai, we encourage this all the time. Um, you know, there's two types of innovation which is applicable to Pakistan. Initially, we look at breakthrough, a new idea entirely. And we look at incremental. And I feel that incremental is more suitable for Pakistan, where you take existing developed ideas from the world and re-implement them in Pakistan. Much easier. So you look at existing models like Airlift, for example. That's, uh, you know, what about Uber? And we have many more companies like that opening up in Pakistan now. So it's not a reinvention. It's just taking an existing model, reapplying it based on local dynamics. When we talk about think global, act local. So what does McDonald's do? McDonald's in India does Mac veggie, Alu Mac tiki, and all these different menus that I've never heard of because they're localized based on the Indian demand. If you go to the Middle East, they're different. When you come to Pakistan, they're very different. Pakistan, mein jo kuch burgers are extremely spicy. Ye, uh, I don't know what it's called. I haven't had a burger for a while. I'm on a strict diet. But it's very, very spicy because I'm pissed on the I'm going Chinese concepts here. We have restaurants that have recently PF Chang. And they've also modified the menu as compared to the foreign markets. So that's what we have to do to, you know, with regards to our local innovation in Pakistan. With regards to sustainability, come up with those models that can last for 10, 20 years. You know, ideally, any business should be devised around the concept of forming strategic alliances to deliver a quality product for the end users and customers. That is it. It's as simple as that. Hum unfortunately compromise kar jate hain hum kehte hain ki sasta bech dein aur aur substandard quality bech jo ki china ke sath ek title lag chuka hai wo china you know we always say ki nahi wo cheez sasti hai to uh, inexpensive hai to yahan se substandard hogi that's not necessarily true china is doing three grades a b and c it's up to the client it's up to the customer what he wants so we've got to be creative look when we talk about pakistan i want to give you a, a, a very bright picture of pakistan you know we i myself and overseas pakistani came to pakistan uh, a few years ago, my family has been here for, for a long time. I came uh, late. I was in the Middle East. I was in the UK, got my education abroad. Uh, very passionate individual. I came to Pakistan for a reason. Ham jaise log bahir bahut hain. And this is the reason why you're here. There's few of us in Pakistan with that exposure. This is why the government wants to bring more overseas Pakistanis back home. Because what they've seen in the world, wo Pakistan lana chahte hain. Ham piche isliye nahi hain. Ki ham nalaik hain, ya ham incompetent hain. Hum isliye piche hain because we don't have the technology. We don't have the know-how. Hum agar literacy dekh lein apne Pakistan ki, we're looking at about 56%. It's a joke. And if you look at AJK, this is interesting. If you look at North AJK, AJK ki literacy around 67, 68% hain. And these are areas which don't have proper schools. And then we talk about women economic empowerment. 55% of the population is females. And we're working on it. Now you have, uh, you know, a Pakistan ki history ki alawabhi, I think probably in the region, the only serving left in general who's a female the Lieutenant General of uh, the Medical Corps. It's huge. And then you can like, look at uh, Benzir Bhutto. In all of these, these examples are examples which have been leading Pakistan forward that we are not different. 
opportunity nahi mile hame now we're coming to that with regards to the overseas pakistanis that are here jo jo mohabbat hai aap logon ki pakistan ke liye jo patriotism hai wo visible hai this is why you've taken this initiative you've already taken a lot of the institutes on board we have worked with many of them nas ke sath humne kaam kiya last year com sats ke sath kaam kiya nas had a wonderful program uh, islam university as well ek bacche ne ek spare part bana diya extra machine ka wo jo extra extra machine ka part tha uski 8 lakh ki cost thi usne wahi 1.5 lakh 2 lakh mein bana diya similarly com sats mein there was a, a student who came up with the, the, this device which shakes chemicals in a test tube so you need it for a few hours to see the the end result to wo again 1.5 2 lakh ki cost thi usne 70000 rupaye ka prototype bana diya pakistan mein what we don't realize agar hum apni cost of labor dekh le we are far more inexpensive i wouldn't say cheap we're inexpensive as compared to bangladesh sri lanka and india uska benefit nahi le pa rahe uski reason ye hai ki we're not promoting pakistan hum market nahi kar rahe hame pata hai pakistan ki capability kya hai baaki ko nahi pata i went to um, gujranwala day before yesterday and wahan pe master tile ka humne plant visit kiya we're looking at some ceramics and my khwahish thi ki pakistan se buy kare i promise you they're delivering at par with spain and italy इस लेवल की सरामिक्स में बना रहे हैं यहाँ पे 300 एकड़ की उनकी फैसिलिटी है वहाँ पे देखो मल्टीपल प्लांट सेटअप ना और उसके फौरन बाद हम भलवाल गए वहाँ पे नया एक प्लांट लगाया चाइना का ओरियाल नाउ दिस इज गुड एंड बैड फॉर पाकिस्तान गुड कि वी आर गेटिंग फॉरन इन्वेस्टमेंट बैड बिकॉज सी पे को हम प्रमोट तो करते हैं लेकिन वी डोंट वॉन्ट फॉरन इंडस्ट्रीज टू कम एंड कम्पीट विद आवर्स हम तो अभी उस तरफ आए नहीं है वी हैव एन इवन मूव टूवर्ड्स दैट सो वी ऑलरेडी हैविंग फॉरन कंपेर कम एंड द रीजन फॉर दैट इज चाइना के ऊपर टैफ्स लग चुके हैं ट्रेड वॉर what you have started and this is just a start kal tariffs uk bhi laga lega europe bhi laga lenge so unhone pakistan ke through route karna hai now the edge that we have ke wo pakistan mein plant laga rahe hain uske benefit lene ka tarika ye hai ke the government is to say to them what the middle east used to say 51% ownership pakistanis ki hogi and 99% ya 95% labor aapko pakistan ka hoga chinese itne efficient hain wo jinn hain we developed centaurs and centaurs mein jab construction ho rahi thi Now, uh, almost 60% workforce was from China, but guess who these Chinese laborers were? They were all prisoners. So, who are their prisoners? Could be idle, not short. That's how efficient they are. This is why China has come up faster than any other country. The example, like, you know, it's not the population size; it's how fast they've developed and how efficiently they've developed the country. So, we need to move. So, as as a country, what's sad about Pakistan is we're not focusing on our core competence, but focusing on our core, which is industry. Jayu Khan Saab ke zamane mein ek initiative aaya tha. आप अगर यहाँ पे प्लांट्स देख लें पुराने जो एच के हैं एच के हैं दे आर ह्यूज प्लांट्स द केपेबिलिटी इज फिनल बट अनफॉर्चुनेटली वी नॉट कंटिन्यू दैट हम डिवे लोगे बीच में वापस नहीं चढ़ पाए अब हम वापस आ रहे हैं इंडस्ट्री की तरफ वन आई स्पोक टू ऑल दिस इंडस्ट्रीज आई सेट वट इज द इंसेंटिव यू गेटिंग फ्रॉम द गवर्मेंट एंड आई सेट दैट यू नो वट इफ वी गेट प्लांट एंड मशीनरी हमें सिर्फ फाइव परसेंट ड्यूटी चार्ज की जाती है अगर हम फाइनेंसिंग लें थ्री परसेंट चार्ज किया जाता है एंड वी थैंक पी टी आई फॉर दैट तो वो फ्री हैं दे रहे हैं कि आप ट्रांसफर टेक्नोलॉजी लेके आए मैं एक और एग्जाम्पल देता हूँ कि वीर लुकिंग एट डोर्स फॉर आर अपकमिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड हमें कंपनीज बहुत कम मिल रही थी यहाँ पे जो उस लेवल की डोर्स प्रोड्यूस कर सकें हज़ार दो हज़ार डोर्स मुझे दे सकें विद इन थ्री फोर मंथ्स हार्डली एक या दो कंपनीज हैं मैंने सरामिक्स की बात की अभी भी पाकिस्तान के अंदर छः से सात सरामिक कंपनीज भी आप लगा दें फिर भी यहाँ की रिक्वायरमेंट पूरी नहीं होती यू नो विद रिगार्ड्स टू आर रिक्वायरमेंट वी डिड द लार्जेस्ट इंडस्ट्रियल एंड प्रॉपर्टी हाउसिंग एक्सपो इन कलाब्रेशन विद नैप डनिया पाकिस्तान एंड अगेन ग्रेट इनिशियटिव एक आम इंसान एक आम शहरी एक घर ले सकता है they're giving financing without even asking for collateral aapki salary ki against aapko loan de denge this is this is initiative with regards to the potential humne takriban jo islamabad mein project kiye the 250 arab ke project is region mein aa rahe hain 10 lakh ghar humne likh ke diye government of pakistan ko ki 10 lakh ghar is region mein aa rahe hain to jo khan sahab ka khwab hai 50 lakh gharon ka wo to main samajh raha hu ki underestimate hai the actual requirement as per today's population size is 12 million houses to agle 10 saal tak कॉन्सेंट डिमांड है सरामिक से मैंने एग्जाम्पल दी कि अगर छः प्लान भी हम नहीं लगाते हैं फिर भी आपकी सिर्फ लोकल डिमांड पूरी नहीं होगी हम अगर दस लाख घर की बात करें पर ईयर दैट मीन्स दो हज़ार आठ सौ घर पर डे नहीं बन सकते वी डोंट हैव द ह्यूमन रिसोर्स वी डोंट हैव द फाइनेंशियल फाइनेंस वी डोंट हैव द इक्विपमेंट वी डोंट हैव नाइनटी परसेंट रॉ मटेरियल हम इम्पोर्ट कर रहे हैं इंक्लूडिंग दर दिस इज वाई वी हैव अ करन अकाउंट डेफिसिट दिस वाई इज अ ट्री डेफिसिट यू वी नॉट प्रोड्यूसिंग एनीथिंग लोकली विच इज़ आर कोर स्ट्रेंथ हम अगर पाकिस्तान को आगे लेके जाना चाहते हैं वी नीड टू मूव टूवर्ड्स इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन इन एवरी सेक्टर वी टॉक अबाउट आई टी वी इनाग्रेट इन आई टी पार्क इन आई नाइन लास्ट ईयर एंड वीव गॉट टू मेन वंस जो मोस्टली सर्विस ओवरसीज कंपनीज को दे रही है अमेजोन को दे रही है देर गिविंग टू हॉस्पिटल जॉन हॉपकिस को बैकअप सपोर्ट यहाँ से उनकी क्लाइंट डाटा यहाँ मैनेज किया जा रहा है विच इज सरप्राइजिंग एंड आई एम चैलिंग यू वन वी टू आर एम्बेसडर हम क्योंकि डेलीगेशन को लेकर जाते हैं हम चाहते हैं कि सेंट्रल एशिया को हम टारगेट करें यू हाउ वी हैड अ पॉलिसी ऑफ लुक अफ्रीका वी ऑल्सो नीट अ पॉलिसी 
So we took these ambassadors and they were blown away. Okay, these companies are already providing services to the US and to Europe. But we don't know. Even Pakistan knows most of it. So we don't even know how much potential we have within Pakistan. We are looking for overseas businessmen, overseas architects, and all the capabilities are locally available. So it's about connectivity. And that's where we come in as a business community. You know, we uh, meet with these uh, ambassadors quite frequently. We want to use these business ideas, these R&D centers in Pakistan. Because we are inexpensive. If we say that you are going to Dubai, I mean, I can give you an example. If I hire an architect in Dubai, I will charge about 15 to 16 dollars for a good project. Here, that architect will charge 2-3 lakh dollars. So, it's, it's no rocket science. This is the capability. These people are the curriculum. They have the know-how. The difference is, maybe those guys have done more projects. But if we don't give our market, we don't give our people a chance, we don't give our youth a how are we going to move forward? Um, I would also like to, on this forum, again, acknowledge uh, you know, the BTI government. I think Khan Saab, I've worked with him for the last year, and he's a true uh, patriot, somebody who's very sincere with this country. He has a lot of passion, a lot of charisma. When you listen to him, when you interact with him, you'll see his arteries and veins uh, popping out because you know he's, re he's really passionate about about the country, about the people. Like arm and sang ka ko mahsoos hota. And COVID is an ideal example. Uh, you know, something we went through, we weren't prepared for, but it was handled really well as an example. Or when Khan Saab ne kaha ki hum four percent GDP growth ki baat kar rahe the most people said four percent GDP growth in Pakistan really. Iske do aspects hain. So when we recently just had the uh, numbers come in from the Pakistan stock market. We looked at an aggregate profit of about 258 billion. That's a lot of money. It was about 60% over the last, uh, you know, uh, correlating year. It's a lot of growth, and most of that was contributed to 5% growth in real estate, telcos, banks, because banks are doing really well. And we obviously have, you know, uh, automobile sector. We have a few other sectors. IT is there as well. IT ki bhi hum baat kare to hum takriban hardly 900, 800, 900 million dollars export kare the. Finally. We're coming up towards about, towards about 3 billion. If we look at the whole country, they're well over 100 billion. So imagine how much potential in this sector. Mein. And it's again not about them being smarter than us. It's about them being more aggressive in their marketing. We need to market Pakistan. So we talked about Pakistan's GDP growth. But the most important issue is that Pakistan is not a documented economy. When we talk about contribution, there are 3-4% people in this country. So how are we going to progress forward? And then we blame the government. Ko. The government is bleeding as it is. 200 plus state-owned enterprises that we have are losing money. Government work never happens that they companies. Ko that is why you know, railways is trying to privatize. PIA will eventually privatize. And there's other institutions as well. Because a businessman saves every penny. My own philosophy in business is every penny saved is a penny earned. And everything I save, I reinvest in my organization. I reinvest in my own people. This is, this is your core strength, your human resource. So we need to encourage everybody. Yeah, you text them. This country will come to you. You automatically will not go away. The countries that are made, the developed countries, they are the people who The government gives policy. To the countries investment, to go away, the work of the people, to the economy, to the business community, which is what we're doing. And we're doing it very well, and we're going to do it even better if given the right opportunity, if given the right policy. So it's just a matter of taking us on board. You know, we've always lobbied that you businessmen, who are in Karachi, or Faisalabad, Lahore, uh, you know, the main areas of your area, you make a collective economic cell de, of representatives that can come and give you feedback. You know, people like us don't need portfolios. We're not longing for portfolios because we already have enough respect within our own community. And we're not about, you know, show of power or show of, uh, of, of anything else. It's, it's not, we don't have time for these sort of things. We want the country to progress. It's the reason that if the country will progress, then we will progress. अगर हमारा stake इस मुल्क में लगा हुआ है तो वो तीन चार साल के लिए नहीं लगा हुआ हम इन्वेस्टमेंट लेते हैं तो वो 20 साल 30 साल का फोरकास्ट करके लेते हैं एंड द फंडामेंटल थिंग इज द पेबैक अगेन वन मोर इनिशिएटिव वी टुक लास्ट ईयर व्हिच इज समथिंग यू नीड टू फोकस ऑन द द यूथ टूरिज्म लास्ट ईयर वी नेगोशिएटेड विद द प्राइम मिनिस्टर एंड वी टुक जुल्फी बुखारी साहब ऑन बोर्ड हमने कहा टूरिज्म कह तो रहे हैं लेकिन उसकी वायबिलिटी नहीं है बिकॉज़ ऑफ द ड्यूटीज so we convinced the government to waive off the duties by 50% on all tourism projects so now if you bring in a chairlift or if you bring in uh, you know a uh, Formula One circuit, you will be able to get 50% duties waived off, and that's a huge incentive. This is what we're moving towards. We are doing long-term sustainable economic development. One thing I mention youth to my own thesis was on this: the, uh, the strategic importance of emotional intelligence. This is again linked with the ecosystem of any business, whether Pakistan or globally. But it's more applicable in Pakistan. You know, emotional intelligence. We have some core things. This is again related with business intelligence. Again, emotional intelligence. We talk Firstly, it's about self-awareness. Understanding your own feelings, self-governance, how you govern those feelings, which is like relation, how you regulate those feelings, empathy, how you're empathetic towards others, how you motivate others, and your social skills. 
ये एक बहुत बेसिक चीज़ है मैं इसलिए बताता हूँ क्योंकि जब मैंने अपने इंडियंस की बात करता हूँ बांग्लादेशीज की बात करता हूँ तो एज अ कम्यूनिटी उनमें इतिहाद बहुत स्ट्रॉग है हम बिजनेस कम्यूनिटी में और यूथ को ये सिखाते हैं कि गेट रेड ऑफ दिस मी माई सेल्फ एंड आई ओवेज से वी आस इट्स ओवेज अ टीम कलेब्रेशन अगर टीम कलेब्रेशन नहीं भी है डोंट ट्राई टेक क्रेडिट फॉर इट आई प्रोमिस यू जो कलेक्टिव ग्रोथ में स्ट्रेंथ है और जो मज़ा है वो किसी और चीज़ में नहीं है यू कैन ओनली ग्रो टुगेदर ये एक चीज़ मैं बताऊँ अपॉर्चुनिटी की बात करते हैं फ्रेंड ऑफ माइंड मैंशन के वी मिस द ट्रेन आई प्रोमिस यू नॉट मिस एनी थिंग मैंने दो हज़ार छः में एक बिजनेस मैन से बात की थी कि यार दुबई में हमने इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं की वी मिस आउट ही सर ब्रो आई बिन डूइंग बिजनेस फॉर द लास्ट ट्वेंटी ईयर डोट एवरी थिंग दैट मैंने कहा क्यों कहते हैं दिस ओवेज समथिंग बेटर दिस ओवेज समथिंग नेक्स्ट इस्लाम ये कहता है कि कुछ बेहतर आपके नसीब में होगा इसमें कुछ बेहतरी है ओवेज थिंक दैट दिस ओवेज समथिंग बेटर डोट एवर से कोई ऑपरचुनिटी लॉस हो गया मुझे करना चाहिए था दिस शुड भी नो एग्रेस इन द बिजनेस मैन माइंड इज ओवेज समथिंग नेक्स्ट एंड पाकिस्तान की खूबसूरती है द वे आई मूव दिस अ लॉट ऑफ चैलेंजेस हेयर आर डायनामिक्स वेरी डिफरेंट बट कंसिडर एवरी ऑब्सिकल एज एन अपॉर्चुनिटी दैट इज अ डिफरेंस इफ यू गन बी इन इनोवेटर यू नीड टू कम आउट विद नीड्स सोल्यूशन बेस्ड ऑन यू नीड्स एंड पाकिस्तान में नीज ही नीज टेक वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल नो बी टॉक्स अबाउट वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट दे इज नॉट अ सिंगल प्रॉपर वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट कंपनी अक्रॉस पाकिस्तान कचरा ही कचरा है यहाँ पे एंड इमेजिन हाउ मेनी बाय प्रोडक्ट्स कैन बी जनरेट फ्रॉम वेस्ट नो बडीज वर्किंग ऑन दैट अनदर आइडिया फॉर यू नॉट मिलियन डॉलर अ बिलियन डॉलर आइडिया फॉर यू विद रिगार्ड्स टू दी इनोवेटर्स आई अप्रीशिएट वट यूव डन आई वुड लाइक टू रिकमेंड कि आप जो बिजनेस मैन हैं शहर के उनको ऑन बोर्ड लें आई एम श्योर यू ऑलरेडी हैव द रीजन आई से दिस इज दिस टू कॉन्सेप्ट इन वर्ल्ड यू सीन द शार्क्स थैंक एंड ड्रैगन्स डैन वेर अ ग्रुप ऑफ अ पैनल ऑफ वट फाइव सिक्स इन्वेस्टर्स सिट्स and they they give you money based on whatever your your idea is and if it can be commercialized if it's commercially viable or not i propose the same thing we can take five six tycoons from islamabad i can propose five six from pindi i can propose another five six because the business community is one we're one family we know everybody we can propose these people to you because usme incentive hamare liye hai ki we'll become your partners hum chahe 5% share le 10% le 20% le we'll become stakeholders in your business we can also help you move forward dealing with pakistan bureaucracy is the biggest challenge it's not about the the idea the idea is great but how are you going to execute implement that idea and overcome the bureaucracy that's where we come in because we've been here for a long time we know how to pull strings we know how to move forward and we know how to bypass some of the people that need to be bypassed that is the way you can progress for, uh, forward and that is the way you can move and excel much faster also move towards export pakistan ki jo collective export ki hum baat kar rahe hain that's why i talk about industry 29 billion ki hum baat kar rahe hain 29 uh, 24 billion sorry 24 billion is a joke for Pakistan. अगर आप हमसाए मुल्क को देख लें बांग्लादेश को तो 49 बिलियन वो एक्सपोर्ट कर रहा है अच्छा बांग्लादेश का रकबा पता है कितना है एक लाख चालीस हज़ार स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर हम लोग पता है कितने ए आठ लाख अस्सी हज़ार आठ लाख अस्सी हज़ार स्क्वेयर किलोमीटर एंड लाइक यू सेट द मैडम सेट विद द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट इन वर्ल्ड मैंगो वी गॉट द फिफ्थ लार्जेस्ट प्रोडक्शन ऑफ मैंगोज इन वर्ल्ड तीस परसेंट ज़ाया हो जाता है बिकॉज इज नॉट एडिकुट कोल्ड स्टोरेज नॉट एडिकुट मार्केटिंग हैव यू सीन मैंगोज इन सेंसबरीज पाकिस्तानी मैंगोज इन सेंसबरीज हैव यू सीन इन रेड रोज These are prime markets, Tesco. These are prime markets in the UK. Walmart. हमें अपने mangoes South Hall की high streets के ऊपर नजर आते हैं floor पे. Twelve pounds for a crate. How insulting is that? These are the sweetest and nicest mangoes in the world. क्योंकि हमने दुनिया देखी हुई है और हम चाहते हैं कि हम उन जगहों पे आएं where we deserve to be. We deserve to be. We're the top Asian tigers. लेकिन हम unfortunately वो उस perception को नहीं build कर पाए. अभी भी जब हम Middle East जाते हैं तो वो कहते हैं हाँ सको मिस्किन. तो मैं उनको कहता हूँ यार आप आके देखें जैसे कि your perception actually you have to change karna unka so we need to look we are a huge country we have a huge future a very bright future we need to be proud of pakistan and that is up to you guys the future of pakistan is in your hands to lead pakistan forward main pura din aapke sath baat kar sakta hu i have understood and studied all of these sectors gems and jewelry ki baat kar lete hain fifth largest reserves in the world of minerals are in pakistan unexplored Ladies, we're going to be doing a, a gems uh, exhibition, inshallah, in the coming weeks. Some centaurs and plan करने, and we do all these things free of charge. हमने IT का भी किया था, agriculture का भी किया था. अगर हम इसमें एक चीज़ और ऐड कर दें, value addition, जो certification है, IGI, GI, HRD, 30 billion dollars की खाली minerals और gems jewellery की export हो सकती है पाकिस्तान से. So it's a gold mine. Just realize what it is. Just realize what this is and move forward. So मेरे साथ मिलके अहद करें आप सब, और बाकियों को भी ये कहें कि वो भी अहद करें. कि हम सब मिलके इस बेहतरीन मुल्क को और भी बेहतर बनाएंगे सब साथ पाकिस्तान जिंदाबाद